welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Adeline and I'm a mom of a one, two, and three year old. Um, I post videos pretty much every single day and I know I've recently had a lot of new subscribers so I thought I would just kind of start off by like introducing myself. Also, this type of video is a little unusual for me. Um, I It's something that I've had so many questions about. It's something that has kind of been long awaited coming, um, but it's a little out of the ordinary, so I might be having some of you that are very new to my channel. So anyways, um, this is not going to be my weight loss story in particular. If you guys would be interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments but I am going to give you some of my best tips and a little bit about my story um, and just what I've learned over the last few years. Um, so, I have had three pregnancies, obviously very close together. I have a one, two, and three-year-old. And um, they have, were all very different. I was at very different weights at all of them. So basically what I'm going to do is start where... Uh, after I had my third baby. So she is basically a year and a half old now and I actually have some footage or I may just grab a still shot of whenever I had first started doing YouTube. Um, I think I was about 165 pounds, maybe 170 pounds whenever I started. I didn't really weigh myself very consistently then just because I hated the scale <laughs> to be honest and I just hated everything. I hated how I felt, I hated uh, my how I looked, I didn't feel comfortable in my clothes, all of those sorts of things. So that I believe was a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago, something like that. Um, if I can kind of figure it out, I'll put like some wording in here. And so before I actually got to that point, so that would have been like through my pregnancies, actually before I even got pregnant, I did something called THM. So that's where I'm going to start off with my little tips and tricks for you guys. If you can find a plan that works for you, and I am going to be the first one to say I have tried lots of different things, and I think not entirely because I know there's some plans that of eating and lifestyle that is not very healthy but I think for the most part if you stick to one thing you will lose weight and if you do it religiously um, and there's so many different diets so many different things out there so many different ideas and mindsets and one thing that I really want to encourage you guys with is every single body type is different and so you might have to try several different plans until you find one that works with your metabolism and all of that good stuff. Another thing I want to add is these are only a couple tips and tricks. I are like, you know, things I've gathered. I think I may actually do more videos like this. If you like that idea, give this uh, video a thumbs up. And like I said, also just doing a, a longer video on my whole entire story. So before I had little ones, um, like in my, well, I'm in my 20s, so in my teen years, I was pretty much at the same weight like my entire life. Like uh, 100, around 150 pounds was where I sat. And it's so crazy because I feel like 150 pounds in my teen years looked so different uh, after I had had my second baby, I lost a lot of weight and got back down to 150 pounds. And it just, my body looked so different than my teen years. And that was a little bit frustrating for me. I realized that to get to what I wanted to feel and like in my clothes and look like, um, I would have to drop a, a good amount more weight than that. So, um, a, like I said, before I had little ones, I did a, pl a plan called Trim Healthy Mama. And basically, I'm just going to like shorten it down because there's a big fat book to go with it and there's so much more than this. But basically, you separate your carbs and your fats and you eat them at different times and you eat protein with both types of meals and I was the type of person that would do one whole day with on the fats and then one whole day like eating carbs now when I say carbs I'm talking like sweet potatoes um quinoa beans healthy carbs not bread very little actually very little gluten um very minimal on all of that stuff 
So I think before I got pregnant with my first one, um, I think maybe I was at 135 pounds, maybe something like that. And I, I mean, I felt very comfortable in that, in that weight with that body makeup, I guess, that young, you know, like not gone through pregnancy kind of thing. So, um, what I did is through my pregnancies, I ate a lot of whatever I wanted to. I gained a lot of weight. Um, my middle one was my heaviest pregnancy and I'm pretty sure I did not weigh myself through my pregnancies or, you know, I actually had a midwife and either didn't want to see the scale or just like asked her if she didn't like would be okay with not weighing me and you know um I wasn't massively huge but I am pretty much 100% sure that I went over 200 pounds um especially with my second one so after I had my second one I um it would have been like five five months till I got pregnant again and in that time I mean as soon as I hit my okay mark to start working out and start doing things um, I did. And so I lost a lot of weight. I think I got down to right around 150 pounds before I got pregnant again. So after I had my third one, which is any pictures or clip that I put through this, um, or the thumbnail or anything like that would have been after I had my third one. So to be fair, you know, that we're starting off like not through pregnancy and everything like that. Um, I did not weigh myself and I am pretty sure yeah that I was probably about 170 pounds so she is like a year and a half and I am now down to 122 pounds I feel really really good and I did trim healthy mama up until maybe like six months ago something like that um, and then I switched to doing keto and intermittent fasting and the reason I have had so many people ask me why I switched from doing trim healthy mama like the flip-flop, you know, type of eating to doing keto. Um, and bottom line, honestly, I love Term Healthy Mama and I really don't see anything wrong with it. Um, but the bottom line was is that it was way, way more convenient to eat keto than it was to do Term Healthy Mama. With Term Healthy Mama, you eat every three hours. On keto, because you're eating extremely high amounts of fat, it helps to sustain you and you actually like <laughs> can go a longer amount of time without eating. I mean, you can eat three times a day. And then I ran into Dr. Berg and I'm going to leave links to his videos below on keto and intermittent fasting because I feel like he has the most like, and I know this is extremely, extremely controversial, controversial statement, but I'm going to say it because it's my opinion and that doesn't mean that like I'm 100% right. Um, and you can leave your opinion in the comments if you disagree with me, but like I think that his um, stuff is the most like scientifically based or like gives good reasons because before all of this, I was very against doing intermittent fasting, doing keto, taking carbs out, all of that stuff. Um, and then I listened to like hours and hours and hours of Dr. Berg talking and he had a lot of information on why it works and all of that stuff now to say that it's something that i will do for the rest of my life probably not um that's just not uh i don't know it's just not real life i mean there's you have kids you have birthday parties you have all kinds of things and yes i'm going to go ahead and say this because i feel like it's important for me to say i ate oreos before i sat down <laughs> to film this so like just to give you a picture like i just really with when i first started doing keto i was like really obsessive about numbers and weighing like i would weigh my my proteins um all of that stuff which actually what i want to say is that if you start a plan stick to it like give yourself a good like three months of being super adamant about like checking all the boxes everything that you're going to do because that gives you a good foundation and then from then on you can kind of like cultivate and like just do it as a lifestyle and so for example um with keto some you know there it's not super high i mean it's medium protein it's high fat medium protein and so 
you do want to be careful that you're not in consuming too much protein. So I was weighing my protein, which actually ended up being really good in the end because now I know how much protein I should be eating. I can look at a piece of chicken and kind of know. Um, and so like measuring things out is not a bad thing. I mean, it would be really annoying for the rest of your life to be doing that, but it's not a bad thing. Um, just to give you kind of like a perspective of what you should and shouldn't be doing So, you know if you're doing uh, I'm just trying to think of another example I know there's other diets that have like guidelines things that you stick to I mean like I think another this is a this would be a good example I'm not huge huge fan of doing Weight Watchers but I think you can lose weight on Weight Watchers um, especially for a person that has a problem with um, portion control but like just like that you can learn what things are what points and people get really used to the system and then you can kind of integrate it into a lifestyle so I think that's why sometimes people start something and they're like how in the world would I make this into a lifestyle and I think that's why just like give yourself a good solid three months and you will know if it's something that you can stick to doing stick start to like just go on your own take the training wheels off that kind of thing so my first thing is is to stick to whatever you decide to do it does not have to be what I do um, although I will say that it what I've done has worked very well um, my pace of losing weight went up dramatically after starting keto going off of Trim Healthy Mama. But Trim Healthy Mama is extremely good for when you're nursing and you're pregnant because you do need those healthy carbs um, for those times of life. And even now, like because I'm pretty much, I mean, I'm at my goal weight, um, that, it, you know, if there's times that I want to in integrate healthy carbs, I kind of have that knowledge like I know because I've done it and that's why it's not a bad idea to try out different diets and I know there's gonna be people out there that probably will argue with me on that one but I think that it's good to know to have good knowledge of a lot of different things and especially whenever you want to use things for certain periods of your life like if you want to use keto to get yourself down to where your weight should be and then just be eating healthy and just making smart choices after that I don't think that's a bad thing. So I feel like that was really long, but you guys got the picture and if you're interested in hearing what I have to say, I guess you'll keep watching. Um, so my second tip is that you do not have to do fitness. Um, and I know like there's so much to the health, weight loss, fitness world. And so everybody's got their, their opinions and their things, but I'm talking from my experience, from my story, from like, the things I've done. So I have done working out. Um, like I said, after I had my second one, um, I did a lot of working out. It kind of depends on what you want to maintain, what you want out of um, weight loss. So I um, did not do much working out actually before that, to be honest. That was the first time that I really faithfully every day was working out. And now that I'm at the weight I'm at, I'm actually kind of like wanting to work out just because I feel like that I have, you know, extra skin and things like that that I would really like to tighten up. Um, and so I think in the next few months, I'll probably start going back to the gym. I had done it for a little while last year and um, just didn't stick to it. So. That is something that I think I will probably start doing, but what I want to say is that you can easily lose weight for the most part unless, like I'm, I'm going to say this stuff with a disclaimer of there are people out there with thyroid problems, there are people out there that have genetic things, that have things that they need medical attention for. And so like if you are doing everything in your power or, you know, or you... I'm, this is a whole nother subject, but you know, there's things like parasites, there's things out there that will prevent you from losing weight, but I'm talking for maybe a general rule of thumb. So if you are trying 
a lot of things you're being very faithful to sticking to eating a certain way you know that you're not doing anything that you're consuming things that would be making you gain weight and you're still not losing you definitely need to seek professional help okay with that said for the most part you can lose a lot of weight without working out um, and I know that a lot of trainers will even tell you that because their first thing that they're probably going to tell you at a training session if it's a really good trainer is that it all starts in the kitchen you cannot be eating mcdonald's and going to the gym every day first of all you would never have the energy to do that and not be like giving yourself the right nutrition you're just killing yourself you're just on a, a cycle you know that's not good so nutrition is really the bottom line so if you start off with that you will definitely lose and i like i said i have lost pretty much all of my weight without actually having done much exercise at all. The third thing I wanted to say was be flexible about your goal weight. Um, like I said, you know, after I had my second baby and I lost m the weight that I thought I was going to like, you know, where I was at and stuff like that, it wasn't really where I wanted to be. So I had to kind of readjust that. And I've also heard people that have made a goal weight for themselves reached not quite that low of a weight and was were super happy with how their body looked so like i think it's good to have goals but i also think it's good to just like listen to your body and realize that you might be happy in a very different place with your body than what you realize and just learn to love the moment that you're in learn to love what like every step that you're going through and like especially as moms i feel like we have these like time frames in mind and we have to realize that we are going through postpartum we're breastfeeding all of those things and so i think it's important for us to just embrace every single step okay so you already know that i eat keto for the most part i also do intermittent fasting even currently um i'm not a huge breakfast person not because i don't love breakfast food in fact a lot of times i eat breakfast food for lunch but because i have three toddlers and the idea of me getting breakfast made for myself is pretty much non-existent i mean it's usually like 11 o'clock until i make my breakfast so, um, I actually, that was the other thing that was super convenient about doing intermittent fasting is like, I just basically, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't make my first meal until the afternoon and just making sure that, you know, you're having enough calories and all of that. But if you're eating a lot of coconut oil and that's where I'm going to kind of like go into is giving you guys a couple products and tips, things that, um, have helped me out a lot and no this is not sponsored by any of these companies or anything um if any of them want to you know want to sponsor me um i do work with the one company but um it's not sponsored I'm sponsoring this video but one thing one thing that i like swear by is eating a good amount of coconut oil every single day and i personally prefer it in my coffee um i if you guys go back and watch i had gone through and done a series of like what i eat every single day i would take and film it all and put it into one video and you guys i, I know there was a lot of you that really liked it um it was just so much work honestly for me to do that so if you guys go back and watch those videos you will see that i do put a lot of coconut oil into my coffee um and it's just my way of doing it and i have in a pinch whenever i really knew i needed coconut oil um eating it right off the spoon and just drank something after it it's pretty nasty but <laughs> whenever you have to do what you have to do it's really good for your skin and your hair um digestion helps you lose weight um just gives you a lot of energy it really really does but i would suggest to start off a little bit like a smaller amount and work your way up um i probably in my coffee i probably put like a good tablespoon and a half um i really really like it and i my attempt is to try to do that twice a day that's something that i put in my coffee another thing that i put in my coffee is collagen and i don't necessarily have a specific brand that i really um stick to with that i liked from healthy mama's brand i've used theirs actually i just ran out of my last bag of theirs that i had on hand 
Um, but that's something that I also like to try to put into my coffee. I try to drink like decaf at night and then regular in the morning. So of course I kind of make the same concoction or whatever. But I'm gonna show you guys this. Um, this is the one that I'm using right now. It's called Beauty, T Beauty Tonic. And they have bags also. And actually this is from Grove. <laughs> um, if you guys are unfamiliar with my channel, I talk about Grove a lot. They are a natural company. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description bar where you guys can actually get a whole bunch of cleaning products for free with your first order. Um, and if you guys want to go click on that link, it'll send you right to Grove. It'll put all that stuff in your cart and then you can search um, tonic on there. And this will pop up. And the reason I'm showing it to you is because if you're a person that uses collagen, this is like ridiculously handy. So these are in little pouches just like this. So you can literally keep these in your car and put them in your Starbucks. Um, they have no taste, absolutely no taste. Collagen in itself actually helps you digest things. Um, it really just, whoa, it really does a lot of things. I'm not gonna go into great detail because I feel like this video might end up being long. Um, but I wanted to mention this because it's something that I wish kind of I would have known about a long time ago just because of the conveniency of it. So, um, like I said, I'll leave a link below for this. Okay, so I I think what I'm going to do is do a video at some point on like all the supplements, all the things that I take. Another thing that I take uh, is Superfood Plus by Dr. Schultz, and I'm just literally going to show these to you because I know there were some people that were like, aren't, aren't they huge pills? I've mentioned it before, and they really, they are. I mean, like, if you're not a pill taker, they are, but I'm, I don't mind taking pills but this is literally what they look like let me see if i can get it to focus like that and they are basically your greens so if you're a person that hates hates salads hates getting your greens in which really even those of us that like it we don't get enough in i can already tell you that right now like we do not eat enough greens in america at all um, or the right kind of greens like iceberg lettuce does not count. Sorry to break it to you if you thought that it did um, But it has so much nutrients in it and this is just a way that is so Easy to get so much in and I'm gonna tell you guys something kind of like gross, but it really Helps or helped me see how great these things are one time one of them landed in my sink And then I don't think I realized it and a few hours later, I came back and it had gotten wet. And it had literally, I think probably three times its size. And it was like a little blob of like shredded up green. Like that is what is in, in these pills. So that was kind of, it was, it was gross in my sink, but <laughs> it was kind of comforting to me that this is really greens like you're definitely getting them in and you don't have to taste them you can hold your breath and take it down so um i will leave an amazon link below for these that's um where i got them and so yeah they're definitely something that i like to take every day okay so this is the one company that i work with if you guys watch my channel a lot you already know this um but i work with teamy or teamy i like to say teamy because it rhymes but um, and they are a really, really awesome company. They are a tea company. I actually love drinking health teas to begin with. And so whenever they reached out to me, I was like, yeah, that would be totally cool to work with you guys. So, um, what I have done, this is my second round is the 30 day detox. Um, and it basically comes, whoop, there's a hair. Um, it basically comes with their skinny tea and their detox tea. I'm just going to pull them. Out. Their detox tea is just their colon tea and it actually comes in little bag, little tea bags. And then their skinny tea is their loose leaf tea. And the way that the system works is you drink the skinny tea every single morning and it tastes really good. I like, I love the taste of their teas. Um, and then the detox tea you drink every other night. And so you do it for 30 days. And I am going to be really honest with you guys. I love, love this product. I think the first round that I did it, which of course I was eating really healthy. And also whenever I started my first round, I cut out um, dairy, which was really big. Because even on keto, you're allowed to have dairy. 
but a friend challenged me to do it and I have gone through spurts of cutting out dairy and I generally feel better. I think it causes a lot of bloating and I really think it slows down my weight loss. So I, I did that and um, I pretty much had already been cutting out sugar and gluten. That was something that I had done for a long time. But the dairy was something a little bit new. So I cut that out. So I'm just including that in this. Um, and then I did the, t the detox for 30 days. And I think if I would look back on my dates um, that it was about 10 pounds in those 30 days. Which is like really good really really good and then um, on top of that I actually had a um, subscriber of mine get a hold of me after she had ordered um, through my link because I will leave a link in the description box where you guys can get a percentage off of your first tea order actually you know what? I think any of your tea orders so even if you are a, re a re um, returning customer you guys would still be able to get it um, and she was like so I have been stalled on my weight loss for a while and I decided to go ahead and get the skinny tea um, and it has broke broken my plateau and I'm losing again so I was like yes 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 so it really it really really does help and I was surprised I was skeptical at first but I was surprised at how much it helped but before I end my ramble about teamy I do have to tell you guys something kind of exciting so I got a package the other day and they just launched I think yesterday um this new tumbler and how stinking cute is it i love the mint color and i want to show you guys how the tumblers work so um with the skinny tea it's a loose leaf tea and you literally only use a teaspoon of this and it like expands kind of like the greens like i was just telling you about and then there is a little like screen and it keeps everything you put the the tea inside there with the boiling water you stick this right inside and then you can drink it and you don't get all the nasty little pieces from the loose leaf tea. So anyways, and this actually has a little compartment of oh, sticker stuck. I'm not going to open it, but you can unscrew the bottom and put like your tea in there if you were out in town and you just got some hot water somewhere. And then it has a little um, wristlet too. So I really, really, really have been impressed with this company. And like I said, these are just like little add-ins. It's nothing that like you have to do. It's things I have done, things that have helped me. Um, stuff that, you know, if you wanna try one of those things, you know, it might help a lot. Um, just. Yeah, just a couple things that I thought I would just throw out there and mention. And like I said, I think I'm going to do a whole video on everything that I do. Because if you don't know what your adrenal glands are, they are something in your body that help you handle stress. And if they are overloaded, you have a very, very hard time losing weight. Um, and so if you're taking supplements to help aid your adrenals and help to get them back to health... Sometimes that in itself can actually help you lose weight with whatever you're currently doing. So that is why I'd like to do another supplements video. But the last thing I'm going to mention is to be taking a really good probiotic. And I am talking about this because I've taken a lot of probiotics. And this one is actually like in the mid range as far as price. And it came in a cooler bag. Like I ordered it off of Amazon and it came in a cooler bag and it has 85 billion live cultures and 32 probiotic strands and that is very high when you're talking about probiotics um there's a lot of them that have 50 billion live cultures um and even lower than that like 30 so this is a very high count and I was super impressed that it came like in a cooler bag and they were concerned that it would keep its temperature. So that means that whatever is in here is real live stuff and it's very, very healthy and good for you. I wish I would have known about it sooner, especially with the fact that the price is so good on Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link below. And I just wanted to tell you guys about it because I wish I would have known. Okay, so I'm sure that this is probably already way long enough and I could talk for probably four more hours just because I already like there's so much more stuff that I know about weight loss and and health and aiding and all of that stuff but 
Um, I think I'm going to see how you guys like this type of video and if you would be interested in hearing more about my story and more about the things that have worked for me, things that I do, things that I take, how I eat, um, those sorts of things. So leave your questions in the comment box and we'll see. Maybe I'll be making some more videos like this and I hope that something helped you guys out in all of this stuff and um, if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video sailors passing on the street are you ready